You have every little tool that you need to make yourself completely happy from within. However, in this society, we're constantly sold the idea that we need something else to be better, which is not true. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning back in if you are already part of the family. And if you're new here, I would love to welcome you. I hope that by the end of this video, you consider subscribing and joining our small little tribe. In this video, I'm sharing five tips to help you improve yourself, right? Become a better person in self-development and personal growth. I am definitely in a much better mental state than how it was even just last year. And as time goes by, I realize that every year I continue to feel better and better from within. And as time goes by, it increases even more. The first thing I would like to talk about is accepting new opportunities. I know that it's not easy to step out of your comfort zone. I understand that you may feel that you don't have what it takes to do whatever it is that you would like to do. But there's no way for you to know unless you try. Just give it a try. Don't allow fear to stop you. If you find yourself doing something that you would have never imagined yourself doing, that's okay. Allow it. Live it. Breathe it. Be in the moment. And enjoy it. If it makes you a bit nervous and a bit excited, then you know you're on the right track, right? Because if you're nervous, you already know you're stepping out of your comfort zone. And if it's exciting, it's something new that you're learning about yourself. Something that you didn't, maybe had no idea that you were into. And now you start to realize that you do like something other than what you've already used to. If there's something that you're passionate about, something that you are at least a little bit curious to find out what it's like, just dive in. Just go for it. Do not think about it. Don't give yourself a chance to talk yourself out of it. Just do it. It's not going to be perfect from the beginning and that's okay. It's a learning process. One step gets you one step closer to that goal or, you know, scratching that itch and trying that new thing that you would love to try. Self-love. Yes, the big old self-love that has been thrown out here. Um, I find that it's been used so loosely. However, it is very, very important. My definition and what I like to believe self-love is about is accepting who you are today, right now, as you watch this video. However, understanding that if there's something you would like to change, if there's something that you want to be different, then you know you have the option of doing that. And that's okay to want to make yourself better, whether it's mentally, physically, or emotionally. Self-love is a journey is continuous growth, is getting to know yourself much more in a deeper, deeper way. There's no right or wrong way. You find your own way to do things that make you feel better. Healthy eating habits. If you watched my last video, if you haven't already, I'll link it somewhere on the screen so you can watch that video after watching this video. Now, I don't mean you have to cut everything off and just stop eating absolutely everything that you love. I don't believe in that. I mean, one, it's so easy to, right, stop completely for a few weeks, maybe um, even a month or so, but then you backtrack and you fall back into your old habits because you can't change things so abruptly. For me, it's about keeping a balance, right? Treating your body well knowing and being fully aware of what you put into your body. For example, we all know, and if you don't know, processed food, it's not good for us. It's just not good for us. Depends what kind of food you eat sits in your body much longer, which, you know, it's not good. Refined sugar and all those kind of things, just not paying attention to your food intake, it's not good. So, you know, pay more attention here and there, add some veggies, or nuts once in a while when you want a snack you can always have yogurt and nuts that's always good you know we probably think of things that sounds boring to us but there's so much out there so like you know educate yourself do some research and find a way to make your body feel better start by taking the small micro steps that later on you get to see the big impact that it has in your life 
what I like to do is I switch a meal for like a shake, protein shake. So that really helps me. One is filling, like it really fulfills me and I don't feel hungry. So that totally helps me. And it's just drinking it. So that's quick, you know, boom, get that out of the way. Having a gratitude journal to me, being grateful for what we have in our lives and for who we are, it's really important. Keeping track of your feelings is also very important, right? That way it brings attention to maybe feelings that you don't actually realize that you have more often than others. So it's good to keep track of them. One way that I would suggest, I didn't do this myself right now, but it's something that I'm going to try to do more often is sit down at some point throughout your day probably the best will be in the morning that way you can check in with yourself and realize how are you feeling how did you wake up this morning you know and what is it that you want to get done today you know so you get checked in with your emotions and you also want to know what is it that you want to accomplish in that day also if you're not feeling well in your gratitude journal or your notepad or just a piece of paper you can help yourself feel better maybe you can write something that you can do that you can listen to someone you can talk to that will make you and help you feel better it's so easy to focus on the negative that happened in our lives so having the gratitude journal can help you pinpoint and focus more on positivity you have every little tool that you need to make yourself completely happy from within however Nowadays, in this society, we're constantly sold the idea that we need something else to be better, which is not true. Trying something new can bring new excitement into your life. I know there may be some financial limitations and or time limitations. However, always remember that these limitations is what can help you learn to have patience. Nowadays, it's so easy to think that if you launch a business, it should like take off right away. Or if you want to change your physical appearance, you want to lose some weight like in the few weeks, if you don't see any changes, you want to give up. But patience is really, really important and things don't happen when we would like it to happen or as fast as we want it to happen. However, that does not mean it's impossible. You know, where there's a will, there's a way. Thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate you sitting here watching my video and supporting me. I hope anything that I mentioned today resonated with you one way or another. And if it did, I would love to hear from you. Let me know in the comments down below what is it that you did like from this video. Don't forget to like this video. Subscribe if you enjoy this kind of videos. And join our family. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.